My keyboard of choice was this MX keys. And I was loving life until my fat baby ate one of the keys. Where did you put this? Mm. Where did you put it? Yeah, yeah, where is it? Did you eat it? <laughs> Literally, she, she ate it. Well, that's what she told me. She must have digested it because it didn't come out the other end. Straight off the bat, I have a lot of keyboards, but I am not a keyboard guy. You know what I mean? Like there's those guys that are like live and die by keyboards. I'm not like one of those guys. However, as a content creator, I use these tools a lot. I don't really care about how the keyboard feels or whatever. I just need it to number one work and number two for me to be able to type at least a hundred words per minute. So that was a very good excuse for me to go into the whole mechanical keyboard thing because you know people like oh, if it's not a mechanical keyboard I don't want it. So I decided to YouTube a bunch of mechanical keyboards and I decided to settle on the Keychron K something K3 so clearly I know my keyboards <laughs> the reason why I settled on this was this was designed not by a legacy brand but by keyboard enthusiasts pretty crazy so they like we don't like the price we don't like the fact that it's not hot swappable blah 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 so they've made their own and they've got a community behind it so I thought this is the way to go and it wasn't even that that expensive and I ended up going with the brown switches, which is in between the blue clicky clacky and the red linear switches. And uh, yeah, it feels really good. So I come home and uh, my thoughts on this keyboard, it sucks balls. And it's not because of the build quality or how it feels or anything. It feels great, build quality is great, it works. The RGB lights are great, everything works. The problem is my typing speed is so slow on this and it's my problem. It might not be the same for you, but for me, coming from the uh, MX keys at like 110 words per minute, I was like typing 30 words per minute or something. 84? I was editing slower, sending emails slower, typing slower. Everything was just slower. I tried to get used to it. I think I used it for about three months and I just had enough. I just, I was like, nah, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. I went to the shops and looking for the MX keys. And do you know what I bumped into? I bumped into the Logitech MX Keys Mechanical. Right, let's type on it, see how crap it is, right? So I go on there and it was connected to a computer and I'm like typing on it and I'm like, holy crap, I'm actually fast on this, what the heck? So I went to um, 10 fast fingers. 102 words per minute, let's go. 100 words per minute. And I was like, bro, this is it. This feels good. Plus I'm fast on it. Don't take my word and think everyone's gonna be slow on the Keychron. It's just me, it's a my problem. But surprisingly, I'm pretty fast on the MacBook keys as well. That's, that's the thing that, doesn't, that I don't get because MacBook Pro keyboard, I'm fast with. The MX keys I'm fast with, I'm fast with on this as well. I'm fast with the Magic keyboard that Apple has. Look at that. First time using Apple keyboard in like two years or something. 103 words per minute, 96% accuracy. This is what I'm talking about. But I'm just not good with the key crown. I don't know what it is. Because now I'm using the MX Keys mechanical keyboard, this is now on sale. And I got a lot of interest. Bro, day one, six, seven people messaged me, bro, where is it, where is it, where is it? And so there's a guy that lives like four minutes down the road from me. He's coming to pick this up tonight at 5 p.m. and because he's picking it up, I'm like, I should do a review on it. And I'm gonna send him this review after I sell it and tell him it's not refundable. <laughs> Just another heads up for everyone watching this thinking that this keyboard sucks. It does not suck. It was made by enthusiasts, right? They know what they're doing. Plus it is hot swappable. I'm pretty sure the MX keys isn't. So if you're a keyboard fanboy, this might be the one for you. I'm just telling you my experience and why I decided to get rid of this as a non-keyboard guy, okay? If I was a keyboard guy, I probably like, uh, like went mental and got used to it and probably made this work for me, but it just didn't work for me. Other few issues or the benefits of the MX keys mechanical is that I just feel like it just works better. Hear me out. It's something got to do with Bluetooth and I'm sure other people have talked about it. So 
With the Keychron, you can use it as a Bluetooth and you can use it as um, cabled up. And majority of the time I had it cabled up because this thing would go to sleep, which is fine, and you won't wake up. As in, it does wake up, but it takes, it takes its time. It takes a solid maybe 10 seconds. All right, you ready? Still hasn't played yet. Excuse for me to go into the whole mechanic. You know, it's not that slow, but it's slow enough to be annoying. You get back to your desk and you're like, okay, let's go. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. And I'm like pressing the volume button to see, is it registered? Oh, okay, it's registered. And then I can start working again at 30 words per minute. Whereas the MX Keys Mechanical seems to like turn on by the time my hands get to it. Look, watch, my MX Keys is sleeping right now. This is sleeping right now, right? Cool keyboard thing because you know, people are like, oh, there's not a mechanical keyboard. I don't want it. So I did. You know what I'm saying? It senses me somehow and lights up the keys. It's on, ready to go. Some other features with this keyboard is it is hot swappable. There are options for um, Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS, and you can change all these keys and just flick these switches and it'll turn into Windows, it'll turn into Mac. It's very versatile. I mean, you can't really do that with the MX keys. Also, just a quick thing, I'm not sponsored because I'm a small ass YouTuber, but I am filming behind the scenes stuff. So if you're interested in how I'm putting these things together and wanna see it behind the scenes, here's my Kofi page. Um, click on the link, it's in the description and go check it out. Um, you can see the behind the scenes stuff, but you need to be a member. Um, and I've got a solid couple members uh, who are gonna see the behind the scenes of this video. Oh, and a uh, shout out to my super fan, 3Rock, for being a super fan. I love you, thank you. Let's go, let's go do something and, and make an impact together. Let's do it.